melatonin is our sleep hormone, and it starts to go up in the evening about 8 o'clock or so. And we want to allow that sleep hormone to increase in a natural way so that our brain goes to sleep. And yet, most of us in our evening activities are working against our melatonin. We're on the computer, or we're using a cell phone, or we're watching an intense movie on television. And those kinds of activities have been shown to suppress melatonin, if only due to the direct effect of light, especially blue light. So around 8 or 8.30 is a good time to put those things aside and start to maybe do dishes or clean up and, and wind down, find some quiet activity. Even dimming the lights can help. So that's one thing. Another thing that can disturb our sleep at night is just digestion. We can eat too much in the evening. Ayurveda recommends that the evening meal be our lightest meal and we finish it ideally by 7 p.m. or as early after that as possible. And that's simply because digestion is activity. It's metabolic activity and it can easily wake us up or even keep us from falling asleep. Another factor in sleep problems is just stress. It turns out that our stress hormone, cortisol, goes up when we're feeling stressed, and cortisol and melatonin are in a direct opposition to each other. So when cortisol goes up, melatonin goes down. And that can be a problem because then we won't have enough melatonin to keep ourselves asleep at night. So stress can be reduced, of course, by meditation during the day, Exercise in the morning, especially outdoors, has been shown to improve sleep at night. And another source of stress can simply be worrying about not sleeping enough. And research has shown that cognitive behavioral therapy aimed at helping us to replace worried thoughts about not sleeping with some other more positive thinking can actually improve sleep as much or more than taking a sleep drug. And sleep drugs are basically dangerous. They can in increase falls during the night and they've been associated with increased mortality. Another little Ayurvedic tip I will mention to you is to rub your feet and your ears and even your head with coconut oil at bedtime. I know it sounds really strange, but I think you'll find if your mind won't stop and you put coconut oil on it, it's just like you put a sleep, sleep cap on and it just turned your brain right off. It's an amazing, calming effect that Ayurveda recommends for any stress and for improved sleep. Now, another gift of nature that we have that can support good sleep is uh, the power of plants, and the power of herbs, which help the natural functions of the body perform better. And one of my favorite products actually takes the power of a number of herbs that have all been shown to improve sleep and puts them into one combination. So I'd like to share with you a little bit about the herbs in this formula called Deep Rest and how they affect our sleep. I actually have patients who tell me that they really rely on this formula and it does indeed help them sleep. The first ingredient is rose, cabbage rose. Rose is known to cool. Cool our emotional system and cool our digestive system. So if we've eaten too much or our digestion's weak and it's waking us up at night with too much heat or hot flashes, this cabbage rose helps to calm that down. The second herb in it is amla berry. Amla is a sour fruit which both has a cooling effect and it actually helps digestion as well. And that means that it's going to be working to support our digestion while we sleep, less likely to wake up due to indigestion. The third herb in it is valerian. Valerian has been shown in studies to reduce the number of minutes it takes to fall asleep, and it also helps the quality of sleep through the night. It only takes about two weeks of taking a product with valerian to improve the sleep. Another is Arjuna Mrabalin. Arjuna helps the emotional heart. So if you're going to sleep with something on your mind or something that's aggravated you, Arjuna is going to work at help kind of sort that out and calm that down so it doesn't wake you up at night. 
And the last product uh, in that, last herbal product, is Tinospora cordifolia. And that's going to help your liver also involved in digestion and detoxification. It's going to help that function during the night. Again, so your body doesn't wake up and due to excess digestive stress or to maybe something you ate that aggravated your liver, some heavy food, for example. So if you have the occasional difficulty sleeping or that's a habit of yours to wake up in the night or have trouble getting to sleep, I highly recommend you give deep rest a try. <music>